Joining me now is the Philippine swimming team who made us very proud in the 30th Southeast Asian Games. Guys, welcome. We have Sacho, Jasmine, and Miguel. Um, I guess we have to start. How did you guys begin swimming in the first place? Jasmine, do you want to begin? Um, well, for me, I drowned when I was three years old. So um, it's not a happy story. Um, I just saw a swimming pool, tapos I just ran and jumped in the water because apparently I really like the water. But I didn't know how to swim, so I drowned. And yeah, from then, I actually never stopped swimming. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> And then for me, because uh, my family, uh, especially in my dad's side, po, everyone's a swimmer, so it's kind of like the tradition to like start swimming. So yun po. Ever since then, I start now my swim. And of course, Miguel. So for me, for uh, inenroll kami ng parents ko to learn swimming just for survival. But then after nun, parang nagustuhan namin yung sports ng swimming. And then after nun, tuloy-tuloy na hanggang ngayon. Okay, Jasmine, um, you've been swimming for a long time. Um, this is your, how many times? Six. This six, six sea games. games. Um, how do you think your career has evolved as a sea game swimmer? Is this your best sea games yet? Yeah, it's so funny how I feel like I didn't think I would keep improving, but basically that's what happened, I think. Um, I would base it off each sea games I would do and I feel like my times would get better every single time. So I'm really surprised, shocked, and happy Nah, on my sixth one, I'm still breaking times and getting medals. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> and Sacho, we all know Sacho as a superstar UAAP athlete. Um, <laughs> 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 a pressure, ba? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> so how did SEA Games compare to your time swimming in the UAAP? Um, I mean, first of all, Sobrang iba na po yung level of competition niya, as I said. Um, and then, nakaka-inspire din kasi meron din yung, like for example, uh, I've been competing na rin naman po in the junior uh, level of the sea age, sa Southeast Asian Games din naman po. And then, nakaka-inspire din kasi yung mga nakakasabay ko during those times, sila na rin yung nagme-medal, which is, if you uh, put it in a perspective po, you can say na, possible talaga na makarating to that level. And of course, Miguel, um, you're only 16 years old yes. and you made it to the team. You've been watching um, Jasmine and, and Sacha for a long time. What are your learnings from them and do you idolize them in any way? Uh, sure. <laughs> no, no pressure. Siyempre, uh, both of them actually idol ko sila nung mas bata pa ako. Mm -hmm. Siyempre, si Ate Jazz, Olympian. Then, Sacha nga. Uh, at first, nakita ko siya sa Palarong Pambansa. So that time, all golds ata siya. And then UAP, parang late niya pa. Then parang nagme-medal na siya. So siguro, natutunan ko sa kanila is yung kung gano'ng kalakas or kung gano'ng kahalaga yung fighting spirit, lalo na sa sports. And especially yung uh, mental toughness. Kasi tulad nga siya just this SEA Games, parang tuloy-tuloy yung events niya ay madami. But every time, na ako niya mag babat ng time and mag medal and mag perform, so yon. Sabi mga sunod sunod yung mga events, no? And Jasmine, because sunod sunod mga events, you have a funny story to tell us about how busy you were. Yeah, I think the cool thing is the time management, but I don't think it's that, because I had to choose after two events if I would get my ward or cool down, swim easy, and prepare for my third race. And I didn't actually have time to decide, but I kept it from the water after my second race. I was supposed to get the award, and yeah, the coaches were just like, "Magisi ka na lang, have someone else get it, go." And I was like, "Ah, okay." So at that time, I was telling my coach, "Na, you know, I I wanted to get all my awards because like I wouldn't, I don't know if that would be the last, you know." And um, there it was too late, like. I had to be like, okay, never mind. I have another race. Swim down, get ready, because in 10 minutes I'm swimming again. So yeah, yun lang. But it was a good decision, man, because that last race was a relay, and the women's team won silver. So pagakit ko sa podium non feel na feel ko na yay. So did someone step in for you? Yes, some teammates stepped in for me to get my award. So she grabbed all my clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, went to get the award. Well, at least her flag was still there. That's yes, yes. And it's empty. Like someone like proxy. Okay. Um. And Sacha, you've been swimming for a long time. Yes. Throughout your 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 high school and your college career. Yes. How do you train for something like this? 
Well, actually, um, pinadala po kami ng uh, NSA po. Uh, like, for me specifically, meron po akong kasama na two other teammates pinadala po kami sa Australia to train for this for two okay. months. Then, parang training camp po yun. So, um, not that ano po, pero what I'm saying is talagang kailangan either mag-step up ka na or lalabas ka ng country just to get to that level. So, ibang yun talaga po yung parang emphasis na ibang level yung training na kailangan to perform well po. To yeah. perform as much as or uh, as better as them po. Parang po. Kailangan mo talaga mag-sacrifice, no? Kailangan. Opo, kailangan talaga. So, Jasmine, you've been to so many SEA Games since mm -hmm. uh, what year? 2009 was wow. my first. Okay, 2009. Do you have any yeah. advice to everyone, who, like Miguel, perhaps, oh, who's just wow. entering the SEA uh, Games? So, so Miguel, <laughs> this is what you're gonna do. No, um, I think advice for swimmers in general like like Miguel that is starting and really want looking into like getting that gold medal in the sea games and maybe even more um, to just keep fighting and just keep going and I feel like that's what I've been doing ever since there were so many obstacles 2009 2011 leading up to this games even at this games I experienced so many things during the games um, but I think the overall lesson is just to keep fighting and never give up if you have that dream in your heart it's valid and just go fight for it and Sasha, Miguel, before we go, do you have any personal goals you set for yourself for the next SEA Games? Sasha, do you want to start? I mean, for me, my personal goal is, first of all, yun, uh, I think everyone wants that. Naman. I think uh, in behalf of Miguel, then he wants it, the gold medal. Because uh, like, uh, in this 2019 SEA Games, uh, we got our first medal, gold medal after 10 years. I think 10 years. So. Gusto po namin na uh, damihan pa yun uh, for the next SEA Games. Miguel? Uh, as of now, training muna. And syempre, since I'm just 16, madami pang competitions, especially sa junior level and SEA Games din. Yun nga, gusto ko rin mag-medal, of course. At least podium finish at next SEA Games. And syempre, magbaba ng time. Well, good luck with your trainings, and you. when you guys eventually win those gold medals, we'll play this clip back for you <laughs> <laughs> to see what it was like. So, thank you. Maraming salamat and congratulations. We're so excited to see the journey ahead of you. Mga kapamilya, we'll be back for more of your favorite Sea Games athletes when the score returns. Palagi po kami sila sabi ni Tiana na, lagi niyong tatandaan na, may inahawakan tayo. Hindi natin ito pwedeng bitawan kasi nasimula na na.